What's up YouTube? This is Yadi iPhone Geek coming to you with the iOS 4.2.1 Unlock running on Baseband 0615. Okay, this is very important. You guys want to listen to what I'm saying on this one because once you update your baseband, there is no way going back. Alright, so if you don't have to, don't do it. The dev team have created a way you can use the iPad firmware 3.2.1, 3.2.2 to inject the, the coding so you can unlock your phone running on that baseband. You're gonna need the pawnage tool to do so. If you want me to create a custom firmware, I will, and I'll upload it to a server and send you guys the link. All right, so I can tell you all about it, but the best way is to go directly to the Dev Team website. As you can see, I zoom in so y'all can read it much easier, okay? I'm gonna put the link inside my video, where my video is, so you can follow it read everything on here it's all very important because once again once you update your baseband and you go up to four um zim you go up to the new firmware which is a 4.2.1 on your baseband at 0615 00 you see right here you can't go back down so if it once again if you don't have to don't do it this is for the iphone 3g 3gs people okay so what it's telling you here, if you have an old boot ROM 3GS and already unlockable but want to get the 3 point, please wait till they release an unofficial bundle for you, all right? So, like I said, just follow this, read everything on this page, all right? Um, for people who with Mac like myself, we can create a custom firmware where you can do the update, all right? So, um, once again, read everything here. I'm going to put the link in the video. Also now that i have it i can run the pawnage tool all right so for 3g 3gs people this is what you do you select here and then um this is if you're using a mac all right so if you're using a mac you will follow this if you don't have a mac and have a pc it's going to be a different process so you will click on here or here for whichever version of the device you have so you will click on this once you click on the 3gs or the 3g which one when it comes up you click here then there will be another important message on this screen. So once you have upgraded your iPhone baseband to an iPad baseband, that can be carrier unlock. If you choose to do this, you will not be able to downgrade back to the normal iPhone baseband. Okay? That's important. So if you don't need to do this, don't. But for people who have no other choice, you can do this with your Mac or, like I said, have someone create a custom firmware for you. So we'll click yes. What it will do now, it will search for your iPad firmware, which I have on my desktop, as you can see over here. It's over here. You will click next. It will say we will create a blah, 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 such and such and such. You click yes. Do you have an iPhone 3G, 3GS, iPhone 4 contract that will activate normal through iTunes? This is where you will click no. All right? Because remember, you're not an AT&T customer, so you will click no. And it will start to build a bundle for you and everything. Um, once you've done all of that, this is going to take a while, so I don't need to go into here. Once that's all created and everything, then you know you're going to iTunes and you do your Alt if you're on a Mac or if you have on a PC, restore, search for the custom firmware which will be in your desktop, and then you'll be able to do the upgrade to the new 4.2.1 firmware and also carrier unlock. All right, and you want to go inside Cydia, right, and upgrade the repo, which is this right here. So read everything on the Dev Team blogs, and you'll be fine. If you have any question or any concern, feel free to ask. All right, y'all, the iPhone geeks, uh, see if Jerbrek can unlock later.